I'm Shaya, Part's sister. But that. And I'm, I'm Priyanka, Part's mother. And Part received care at Mount Washington Pediatric Hospital in Baltimore. So Part was 14 when he was in an auto accident. Um, and he had tra traumatic brain injury during the accident. And that's why he's quadriplegic and uh, nonverbal. So this, this accident happened when we were visiting India. We were visiting family there. And the accident happened right outside of New Delhi. So it was like in a smaller town. And so he was, in, he was hospitalized in India for about two months. And then my mom brought him back. In the accident, Part's father also died. And he was in coma for a long time, for almost five months. Without the hospital, there is nothing we could have done. We wouldn't have known what to do and where to go if, if it wasn't for the Children's Hospital. And while we were there, we found out it wasn't just us. There were so many other children who wouldn't have known what to do or wouldn't have been helped, and they needed all this help, physically, emotionally, and the hospital took care of all of that. As a result of our advocacy, we would appreciate Congress putting more funding into these hospitals and childcare, professional training, and Medicaid. We didn't know about Medicaid. We didn't know about all of those things until we came to the point where we needed it. But we shouldn't have to wait until there's an emergency to find out about those things. We should be given the information ahead of time. But health insurance and health care is really complicated, and it would be nice if Congress could um, help out with sort of the information dispersion of, of those things.